Hello Photo Mechanic users, this is John from CameraBits, and this is a tutorial on using Photo Mechanic software. In this video we're going to get acquainted with the preview window, edit our photos in a program of our choice, then bring the photos back into Photo Mechanic with the changes applied. Of course this is one way to do it, but not the only way. Photo Mechanic is flexible and allows you to work the way you want. Here's our contact sheet, and let's say these are some favorites from a recent shoot, but you still want to crop and rotate a few before sending them off into Lightroom. We have three different ways to bring up a photo in the preview window. There's the magnifying glass here by the thumbnail, or I can use the command R shortcut, or I can simply double click it. The preview window is handy for examining your photos at greater detail. You can use the yellow buttons at the top of the window to customize your view for comparing your photos with one another vertically or horizontally. The Remove Frames button gives you a better view of your photos themselves. Looking at this photo, I'd like to crop it so that the subject is larger in the frame. The crop tool is here to the right. This is a non-destructive crop, meaning the original file won't be affected when you export the cropped file. This is great for keeping your original snaps intact. Now you'll advance to your next photo using the button at the top of the preview window or the arrow keys. I'd like to rotate this photo, and I can use the buttons here, or the bracket keys. The same applies to rotating, as with cropping. The metadata reflects the rotation, but the file itself remains in its original orientation. Once you've edited your photos in the preview window to your satisfaction, you'll want to send them to another program for some more advanced editing. We've got our editor set to Lightroom, which we did in a previous tutorial. Hitting Command E is going to send your photos to Lightroom. And I'm just going to fool around with the color levels for the sake of illustration. Once your photo is where you want it, you'll want to see those changes reflected back on your photo mechanic contact sheet. To do this, we'll go to File, Export, and export a JPEG with the same name in the folder the original can be found. And if we go back to Photo Mechanic, we'll see all of our lovely adjustments. To review, Bring up your photos in the preview window by double-clicking them or using the magnifying glass by their thumbnail. Use the tools in the preview window to rotate and crop your photos with ease. From the preview window, you can send your photos to an editor such as Lightroom. Lastly, we exported the JPEG back to the same folder to see those changes reflected in your contact sheet. Again, this is just one method for these tasks. The more time you spend with Photo Mechanic, the better feel you'll have for what works for you. Stay tuned for more tutorials about getting started with Photo Mechanic. If you have any trouble, please stop by our support forum or contact us through the support link on our website. Have a great day and happy photographing!